What's up, YouTube? All right, I haven't put a couple of, uh, actually, I haven't put a Wi-Fi battle up in a few days. Now, I finally got uh, a new team together, and it's an amazingly cool team. Look at those folks. So before uh, I get to this battle, um, let's do a question of the day. Um, I'll do it. I'll do quite an easy one for today's one, uh, since I've done a couple of tricky ones in the last week or so. So um, for today's question, uh, what is the Pokemon with the fewest total base stats? Um, just out of it, every Pokemon, what has the fewest total base stats? Leave your comment in the comment section. Also, if you have any uh, sets you'd like or Pokemon you'd like me to use, please leave them in the comment section as well. I do read through all of them. And if you enjoyed this sort of thing, please leave a like on the video. It only takes a couple of seconds. All right, let's get to this video. There was quite a long battle. Um, I think it was about 40, 41 turns. Um, this was against Munchalax um, from my Twitch chat. And we did this one a couple of hours ago. And start this up. Okay, so I was really interested to try a couple of these uh, Pokemon out as well, um, as usual. And uh, I wanted to try some other ones out too. So I've been meaning to try Den and Ed for ages since you, you never really see him. So, um, Octillery lead. Now, obviously, uh, Octillery is not going to stay into. Uh, any sort of electric move, so I just went for Volt Switch uh, to get some momentum and like, possibly switch something in better. Uh, I was lucky uh, this throw came out because uh, this throw is always really, really tricky to deal with because it's so tanky and um, it can it can boost its stats really, really easily and it has access to stuff like Circle Throw, Rest, oh, Payback, loads of crazy moves, and it's so tanky too. Um, great. Great health, great special defense as well, and it can patch its defense and attack with bulk up, uh, as you can see. So it's a little bit worried, definitely worried about this Pokemon trying to get past it. Um, I'm trying out, um, I don't really normally use Weather, but I want to base this um, team on Weather. Um, it's most certainly not overpowered, uh, the Pokemon that I'm using are quite a gimmicky in a lot of ways, but I thought I'd give it a try and it'd be a lot of fun. Okay, um, so unfortunately I get critted there, my Slugu gets critted, and that's not any good. And um, Helmet comes out. Now, Helmet was really, really good this battle, and um, you will possibly uh, see why uh, throughout the match. Uh, now that throw is just going to continue to set up bulk ups, and um, there's not a hell of a lot I can actually do to this thing. So the, my best bet here is thinking, well, I might as well just go for Toxic, see, scope out if it's got rest or sleep talk. If it does, I'm going to be in major trouble, and um, I'm, I have to hit it really hard, uh, specially or something, try and get some damage on this guy. Anyways, um, it's going to go for Earthquake, that's not really going to do much to me, and it was quite a good matchup for me because uh, Throw really had nothing to hit me with for super effective or even neutral. Um, I just go for Struggle Bug there. I know you're probably thinking, what the fuck, Struggle Bug, why would you ever use that move? Um, but on this set, it works pretty well because... Especially um, since it's so tanky in defense, uh, a lot of time you attract special attackers and if they swap into a struggle bug and get like a, a special attack drop, it's very, very handy and makes you extremely bulky as well, both sides. Um, as you can see, it's just dropping the special attack all the time. Um, and it's like the only real move I can use against this thing. Um, so eventually, there's no, not really a great matchup for throw there, so he's just going to phase me out with that. Um, now, I could have gone for Thunder here, but I thought, well, there's not much point because he's easily going to live at great health and special defense. I might as well just go for Volt Switch again and save um, Deadly for the end, um, later end of the battle. Um, I, re I really have been enjoying his Deadly too. Um, he's been great fun. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back into Helmet again. Wasn't sure if he was going to set up another bulk up or go for a rest. I just wasn't really sure. This thing was really scary at this point in the game. And I wasn't 100% sure if I could even sort of get past it. Um, so into Wishcash. Now, I've been meaning to use uh, Wishcash for ages too. Uh, it's, it's great that I got around to um, using him too. So that Toxic's really starting to rack up some nice damage there as well. I thought, well, hell, he's got a couple of bulk ups up, but I've got the weather um, on my side. I can hear him with a Wardfall. And he just lives with like a pixel of health there. Um, and I get a flinch on the Wardfall. I was like, phew. Um... He may have possibly been going for a rest there. I'm not too sure, 100% sure what the set was. Um, I'd say it would have had rest though, for sure. Um, but I was very, very happy to get rid of that thing. Okay, uh, out comes Octillery. Now, bells are starting to ring here. I knew that it would 
the only reason he sent Octillery out would be Energy Ball, because I know Octillery pretty well. Uh, it's Moo Pool, so I just went straight into Sligo because I had a chance here to maybe uh, regenerate my health and maybe cause a little bit of a ruckus. Uh, I can see that there's Life Orb there, so it's going to be hitting um, decently hard. Uh, unfortunately, the rain stops there, so I sort of have to set that up again um, for my team to sort of be active. Unfortunately, um, well, as all sort of non-drizzle teams, you have to sort of set the rain up yourself, and it's not nowhere near as reliable. I just slipped with four health there, which is really, really good. Um, and I'm here, I'm able to get the rest off here. And um, since Sligo has hydration ability, I can wake up absolutely instantly. So it's pretty much like having a recover, but it's going to like recover all of my health and wake up instantly. I can't get frozen because I'm asleep, which is great. <laughs> Yay, and um, Life Orb's doing a bit of damage to Octillery as well. So, I'm waked up again. Now, I thought, hell, let's just go for a Dragon Pulse, get some damage on this thing. I know that's not going to do like, too much, but any damage is better than nothing. Does fair damage. I was happy with that. And um, as I mentioned before, Life Orb is starting to rack up uh, as well. So, it seems uh, Ice Beam is a three-hit KO on me, uh, which is absolutely perfect because I can just rest off the damage and um, take him out with a, a, a Dragon Pulse next turn. Um, as well, barring that I don't get like critted or something because that would really really suck. Okay, uh, anyway, another Ice Beam from Octillery and yeah, about about a 3 Hiko around there. So he's now in range for me to take out with a Dragon Pulse uh, right here, so that's good getting rid of this Octillery. Um, that's sort of like another counter for my unnecessary crit there. Uh, counter for my Sluga out the way, so that's good. Um, now the rain stops. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Obviously, I couldn't put like damp rock or something on this because I I really do need Everlight. Now this was really interesting. Um, a physical hypno. I was like, what the fuck? This is this is new. Um, so I just went uh, straight for toxic because I know um, hypno is very stally, and I wasn't really sure after that thunder punch. I wasn't really sure what set was going on here. Maybe he's expecting me to swap or something. Uh, then it pulls out an ice punch and hits me for super effect. I'm like, shit. Um, I get the rain dance off, which was good. Um, like, I was thankful that I could live that. Um, being on 14 health and not exactly um, road runner, I thinking, well, I might as well just, I might as well just uh, let myself die here and switch something in uh, against this uh, that could be like a little bit more appropriate. So Sligo did really well in that battle, um, most certainly. Okay, um, so I got the toxic damage on Hypno, I was quite happy with that. Now I was trained to puff here, I wanted to bait him to go for Thunder Punch, and then I switched instantly here straight back into my Whisk Cash to try and get like an extra just line of uh, poison going up, then I could sort of like finish it off. Uh, but unfortunately he's got Psycho Cut too, so it's like, it definitely, it's a full physical uh, Hypno. Now, judging on the damage a lot, hell, I took a bit of a risk here and just went straight for Dragon Dance, because Whisk Cash isn't exactly fast either, so I just thought, if I can get like a attack buff and a speed buff, that'll be like very handy. Um, I take the Psycho Cut well, I don't get like credit or anything. Uh, Toxic nearly takes Hypno out, and um, I can just use Waterfall here to uh, finish that off. But uh, very interesting there with the um, physical Hypno, that was cool, I, I like that. That was an interesting set. Okay, um, so a little bit of damage for me because I'm running Life Orb on this. Whiskash sort of needs all the help he can get. Uh, unfortunately the rain stops so I won't be uh, hitting as hard and this was a Pokemon I was really worried about because I knew this has Swift Swim as well. Um, like I wasn't sure what ability it was running. Um, I outspeed which is interesting but then it had Focus Sash so I thought okay well the only reason he did that was he's going for Sword Dance um, on Cover Turps. And yes I knew what was coming here obviously it's going to have Aqua Jet and outspeed me uh, but I was thankful that I could get it down to the um, Focus Sash and maybe try and bring something in. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast, and I was I was hoping that I could uh, bring something in to try and take it out. So straight into Puffy, I wasn't too sure what he had to hit me. Um, then I had Stone Edge, it hit, and that's gonna take me out. I'm not really uh, a defensive wall at all. I'm more of a sweeper, uh, Quillfish, so that was sort of to be expected. Now, uh, straight into Dead in here, I know he had a plus two, but I was confident that I could live it really badly, and I did, which was great, and I can just Volt Switch out there, um, Taking that out, which is really good, getting past that—that uh, that is an absolute monster. Okay, um, so I'm saving Denny for later, uh, obviously, and uh, straight back in here to Helmet. So I'm not exactly looking uh, the best in health at the moment, but then again, he didn't have a lot left. He had Dustnor and 
sorry, Dust Snort, what was the other Pokemon he had left? I'm trying to remember at the moment. Um, it'll come to me in a second. Anyway, I get uh, burned there by will o -Wisp. I just set up the rain again because I've got hydration on this thing as well, so that burn is going to be uh, instantly healed. He had Vigor off left, that's it. That's it. Now, um, I wasn't too worried about Dust Snort because I know Dust Snort pretty well, and um, I know that he couldn't like touch me at all with Dust Snort, and I could just set up a Toxic there and heal my health up quite easily, and like sort of not be in threat. And even if I had stuff like Pain Split, it's still Toxic, and it's not going to uh, stick around for very long. Now, um, he's going to hit me with another Shadow Punch. Maybe he doesn't know that I have got rest at this point in the game, and um, then realizes I've got it, and he's probably like, oh fuck. And I, then I'd be too. So, um, uh, I've got all my health back now with rest, which is great. And I've, as I said, I've got the hydration ability on this as well. I almost, almost always would run shell armor on this, so I can't get critted. But uh, especially for this team, uh, I ran hydration for the fun of it. And it's good to see shell, shell went in action. He's quite bulky in defense too. It's, um, it's interesting. Now, I'm um, obviously seeing that Dustmore cannot do anything or just get Toxic stalled to the shit. Uh, he's going to swap into Vigoroff. I just went for Struggle Bug there, get a little bit of damage on it, um, which is alright. Um, got some damage on the switch. Now, uh, this is just going to start setting up bulk ups here. Um, so I was a little bit worried, but I had Toxic there, and I knew, well, it would take it definitely a couple of bulk ups to even start doing some damage to me. And by the time Vigoroff would probably nearly be taken down by Toxic. So I wasn't too. I was in a pretty good, cool, like, comfortable position. And I had my um, dead in as well that could sort of come in, throw a scarf, and uh, just clean up pretty much uh, if it needed to. Um, anyways, here, yeah, so the rain runs out. I just have to set that up again uh, just in case I need to go for some um, quick rest to uh, get this off. Now, this was, cr this was probably the longest part in the match here against this big Garoth. Um, just due to the fact that he had to set up so many bulk ups just to get past my. Uh, like amazing defense with uh, Everlight and stuff. Okay, so I'm just doing continual damage here with Struggle Bug. I know it's not nothing, but like it's better than like not doing anything at all. And I really don't have much to do anyway, so that Toxic is starting to rack up nicely for me. Uh, then he has Slack Off, which is cool. Um, so that's gonna give him some more uh, health a little bit. Um, I wasn't too. I just went for Rest there, just in case like he went for Return or something. I was expecting Return or uh, just a normal type move. Uh, against me. Then, uh, interesting, uses Night Slash. Uh, it doesn't, like, it barely scratches me, so, uh, with, no, like, with no stab and stuff, um, like, it, it needs, like, a hell of a lot more bulk ups to do more damage with Night Slash, for sure. Uh, the only thing that I could, uh, that could touch me at, the, at this point in the game was a crit, um, and as I mentioned, I didn't have hydration, so, <laughs> this is a very long part. Um, so once again, he's going to go for Slack Off, but like at this point, I knew that I pretty much had this Wigoroth beaten over. Um, like I didn't really have to do much here. Like even if it's up like another couple of bulks up, the the time that it would take that, it would already be dead to Toxic, which was really good. So um, it's good to continue to go for the Night Slash again, and I just set up the rain again. There's not real much I can um, do here. I'm just like I'm just pretty much sitting here as a wall and walling this. Uh, Vigoroth out. So uh, another turn of Toxic, so one more turn and that Vigoroth is down. And um, another uh, Night Slash going, desperately trying to go for a crit there. And um, I'm just happily sitting inside my little shell with my big ass lips and um, healing all my health back. Um, it's quite a fun little Pokemon to use. Straight from Little Cup. Anyways, um, that's Vigoroth down and that was uh, probably the most biggest threat of those two Pokemon out the way. Um, Dust Knot really had nothing it could do to me or touch me at all. And I had another Pokemon that I wanted to try out as well, so I thought, well, this is good. I can um, I can sort of try them out now, because I know Dust Knot's uh, limitations and stuff, and it was already poisoned, so I pretty much knew I had this one over. Now, I was thinking, well, uh, hell, let's just, let's just, um, I'll swap him out here and I'll go into my Denny, see if I, I just want to go straight for a Thunder and see how much damage I can get off of Dustmore. Uh, just, just for the lol, so I, I, I swapped him out. Like, I had Bear Tick as backup too, so if Denny did, like, sort of die, I'll swap into attack, I could sort of, like, swap him in. And it turns out he went for a, um, a Shadow Punch, and that's going to take Denny out, but that's all good. Um, Denny was awesome in this battle, so brought some good, um, definitely brought some good momentum as well. Um, now, uh, with that uh, Toxic going up there, I thought, Bugger, let's bring in Beartick, I want to use him. 
Um, so this guy's really powerful, and he's a he's a crazy swift swim poke. Um, so I just went here straight for the icicle crash. Uh, I knew that it would do like shitloads of damage, but I knew that obviously it wouldn't take Dustin right because it's Dustin. All. Um, obviously, he's not no choice but to go for Will O' Wisp uh, there. But with that toxic sort of like racking up, it didn't really matter that I got burned or anything because um, it would just like sort of take it out. And um, even with Pain Split, I wasn't actually really worried that much at all. So, um, over here, I was thinking, well, let's just go for another Icicle Crash, and this will be the match uh, pretty much over. And I miss, which sucks. Um, does not turn out to have Earthquake, which was interesting, and um, does like a little bit of damage to me there. And with the burn, it's sort of like starting to rack up. I guess it may even be like, oh, it could nearly even take me out the next turn. Uh, does not leave with like a little like pixel of health again, and I thought, well, knowing my luck, I'll probably miss again with Ice Cube Crash, and, um, and I might even die if it was a crit or something. So I just went back into hell. But that's all for this battle. Uh, it was quite a long bit in the end, but some really fun plays in Pokemon um, in this one. If you like any of these Pokemon on team, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, that question of the day again, uh, what Pokemon has the lowest total base stats? Leave it in the comment section for me. Uh, please leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed this. And uh, once again, if you have any more um, or any cool Pokemon or sets you'd like me to try out, leave it there in the comment section. Go. I do read through all of them. And um, most importantly, guys, uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace out.